Well, I guess the key message is engaging, involving and communicating with patients, the public, staff is absolutely crucial if you want to make effective changes to services so that they work better for patients. Everybody's quite separate, but the NHS is the NHS. So those relationships and having that um, relationship across the comms team so that everybody's saying the same thing because it's the right thing and it's all about patient care and making services better, that's really important. One of the reasons for this event was to support some of our decision makers in understanding maybe some of the challenges we might face in, in the future when we're making some of these big decisions around system change and we've got to work as a comms and engagement system to, to support some of our leaders when they're making those decisions. Uh, today was really useful to hear some of those lessons and now it for us, it's for us to go away and work as a system to actually start to understand how we can work together better. Most importantly, if you're consulting with the public about changes to services, listen to what they say. You may be very limited because the services are fragile, need to be sustained, um, but actually the way that you implement change, uh, the way that you think about those challenges can be different if you involve the community and it's really important to have that voice. Patients and the public aren't daft. They use services, they read about services, they know services need to change and they even have views about how they could be changed and improved. So um, start there, more likely to make progress. It isn't rocket science. Uh, people make a lot of theories about it, uh, they have a lot of plans, they write huge documents with enormous appendices. And the heart of this is the public and the patients.